Jaya Jaya, let's go a little bit deeper into this whole idea of being able to program your coupling experience. So, don't get me wrong, of course, love, relationships, sex, coupling is an art form. It's not you are just going to, um, to activate a recipe and then just follow that in a linear way. That would be stupid. That would be just a mental process. So this is not what we are doing here. But understanding the chords, you know, for instance, if you want to play music, it's really good to understand the technique. Technique first. And then you go into flow, right? Into the art form. But if you don't have the chords, you are going to be a little bit chaotic in the way you are going to anchor all that. So understanding the chords in your coupling experience is really important. And guess what? You might be 20, 30, 40 years in a, uh, relationship experiences and nobody ever told you that you could actually access codes, that there is actually a system or that there are recipes or that there are core values and elements that once you put them down on page, on paper, or you share them with your partner, then uh, suddenly you go like, oh my God, there is actually a recipe for that. There is actually a technique for anchoring powerfully your relationship. And again, it's really important not to mentalize all that completely. It's an art form, okay? When we go into the embodiment, it becomes emotions, feelings, sensations, spontaneity. It becomes flow. So it's a full-on grown experience. But a little bit like anything else in life, it's something that you can learn, you can discover actually how it works before you launch your relationship, before you go full on into a coupling experience, then it's really important to understand the coupling dynamics, how they work, and especially how to activate certain given qualities in the core of your relationship. So I've been diving into these topics for a long time, okay? I've been like within the tantric field for about 30 years, into the personal development coaching field for 20 years. I've been actively coaching men and women within that field for since around 2000. And uh, in that time, I discovered that there are certain ways or certain techniques that are very, very direct. And one of the things that I started unleashing full power over the last six months it is the idea of using very specific Sanskrit words. Of course, I'm a mystic. Of course, I've been already meditating for, for years and years. I started reading my first book on yoga when I was 13. So the mysticism has been part of me for a long, long time. And now when we transfer all that within the coupling experience, then you will realize that you have very specific mantras code words or formulas that allow you to anchor very specific qualities in your relationship. For instance, if you want to be a better communicator, guess what? You can go and read books on the topic and you can also go into the source codes, into the divine Buddhic consciousness, activate that field, that specific code of energy and anchor it as a pillar of truth and power in the core of your being. So this is going to activate your throat chakra. It's a mystical experience. You activate that and then suddenly it becomes part of you. Of course, once you activate the codes, once you do the invocations, that's not the only thing you do. Then you have to integrate that in the form of communication patterns. But the core element over here, it is that you receive the sponsorship from higher sources, okay? Your coupling experience is a mystical, divine, sacred container. This is why you go to church or you go to a mosque or you go to a synagogue to get married. You go to a temple. Why? It is to receive the blessing from the divine. And my guess is that probably 70, 80, 90 percent of people on this planet have some form of belief into the force out there in the invisible, right? So if you have the belief, whether you call it nature 
or you call it the universe, or you have more uh, uh, set up or a religious set up mindset inside of you, then all of that, what does that tell you? It means that you have the feeling that there are forces at play in the invisible that can come and anchor themselves in your being. And so this is what we are doing. With the tantric codes, what we are doing is anchoring the specific qualities that are going to help you navigate your coupling experiences with more passion, more fire, more presence, more truth, and so much more. So this is not just one or two codes. I've got dozens and dozens of them to tackle very specific qualities. How to master your body, how to master your personal environment, how to master truth when you speak, how to master the speech pattern itself, itself. how to master sexual fire, sexual energy connection, how to master the merging of your third eyes or your heart, how to expand the heart, how to expand the love. How to expand the life vision and the dharma that you're activating together. How to go back into the karma and unleash a flow of freedom that is going to wipe out or erase the parts in your karma that might be traumatic and allow you to have a clear canvas, energetic canvas, to start a new relationship. So all those codes and all of that makes total sense once you start diving into it. And guess what? It is not Complicate. Once you know the tools, once you anchor them into your field, everything starts flowing with greater ease and greater flow. So this is what I encourage you to check in right now. The, the message from here that I want to give you here, it is that yes, there is a system. Yes, it works. Yes, it's an absolute, super, incredibly powerful solution to tackle a huge part of the challenges, the shadows, and um, yeah, what you might face in the core of your relationship. So get in touch, sign up for one of the coming events. The next one is Tantric Coupling, and it's happening next, uh, next week. This is June 3rd and 4th, I think, uh, July uh, 3rd and 4th, and we are in 2021. But of course, there are more events, so go and check vitalcoaching.com slash events. If you watch this video one, two, three years from now, there might still be events happening for you. Okay, I love you and I'll see you soon.